What's going on guys? Adam again, back with Atomic Garage. And today, we're gonna actually put some lights in this bad boy. Check it out after this intro. So guys, just as the intro stated, we will be starting to wire up this workshop. And I am so ready to get this done. And thank you guys for all of the support and all of the replies and comments that I have gotten from you guys in the last several videos, I sincerely appreciate it. Now, what we're gonna do with this shed is we are going to take this in phases. And the reason why we're gonna take this in phases is because if I do all of this at one time, I won't be able to start on the other projects that I really, really wanna get going. So this is the first phase. First phase, wire up this workshop. Then after that, then we'll move on to insulation. Then we'll insulate the whole thing. Then the third and final phase will be finishing, putting either drywall or OSB up, something like that to give it a finished look. And then we can go from there. But I need to get some lights in here so we can have, so we can see really, that's just what it comes down to. All right guys, so what is gonna happen is, this is not a how-to video by a long shot. This is really just for entertainment purposes, but I'll stop in between the time lapse and show you guys exactly what we've got going on. Check it out. So, quick change of plans, guys. I did not get the breaker box that I prefer, that I like the most out of all of them. So, quick stop to Lowe's to get the right one and then back to, or not back to, now to get started. All right guys, so we got the uh, correct one now. So back to the house and to get started. Alright guys, so I've got uh, the electrical wire ran around the side. Uh, some people feel like it's weird the way I do it. Some people say it's fine. I guess it's all personal preference, even though I'm not an electrician. Uh, so when I go to wire each outlet box, all I have to do is just give a little bit of slack and then I can just pull it on up, make my connections, go to the next one, cut it, pull it on up and just keep going like that without having to stop fish through each uh, section and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, we're gonna keep rocking and rolling. Even though I'm running out of time today, we'll have to probably break this up. So let's keep it going. Good Lord almighty. Man, I don't remember it taking this long. And I still ain't even done yet. All right guys, so we are back again uh, on another day, still working on the Shed's wiring, and let me show you exactly what we've got going on. So first we've got the panel here. Haven't even really gotten started on that uh, wiring or anything like that. I just put that one breaker in there just to show. We're gonna have our light switch right here, and we're slowly working each one and getting it going. What's taking me an extremely long time, and I'm already starting to, rough in 
these ones over here. I know you're saying that's that's a lot of excess it is. I'm gonna cut them down a little bit. But what's taking so long is that I'm not just hooking uh, these to the top screws, then this to the bottom screws, and then just keep daisy chaining them on down. And the reason why I'm not doing that is because if this, if one outlet decides to die, then that means all the other outlets all the way around are gonna also be dead. So what I've been doing is using a pigtail, and I'll use a pigtail on the end of the uh, actual outlet, and then I will tie those in with the wire nuts, and then I'll fold all of that back on in there. So that way, if one individual outlet dies, it's okay because power will still be fed throughout the rest of them and it'll make it easier to diagnose later down the road. Only drawback of course is uh, it just takes a long time. So that's a little update on what we've got going on. Alright guys so as you can see here this is the pigtail that I was talking about earlier. Um, I do it this way here as you can see my white on a wire nut, my equipment ground and then my hot and one thing that I can say, even though I'm not uh, making this like a how-to video or anything, is that you want to wire stuff, even though you've already seen that there is no power uh, hooked up into the uh, panel box there, you want to try to train yourself to wire everything up as if it is hot for real, if there's electricity literally flowing through there. And you don't want to connect the power first because you're making yourself the ground, which would be a very bad thing. You'll let the magic smoke out of yourself and sometimes you can't get that back. Uh, so really you want to make sure that the first thing that you're connecting would be your ground and your equipment ground and then you would move to your hot. So that way, once you connect that final hot wire, which is the black wire and home ground and home wiring, once you connect that black wire, you're not part of that circuit. It's already completed on because you've already given yourself the ground so just a small thing and we're still plugging away we're getting them done It's just very time consuming and I'm kinda regretting actually putting all of this uh, stuff inside of here already because it's very cramped my arm right now is on this engine block here so we're gonna try and hurry up and get that done and try to keep moving along but we've still got plenty to do here that's gonna be it for me today uh, not a whole lot has changed we're still wiring on from there and I've already drilled the holes with my Porter cable uh, drill which if you guys have not checked out the review on that you really do need to do. Uh, we still got a bunch more wiring to do. I still have overhead wiring to do as well. So I'm trying not to make this video extremely long so that'll be it for today guys and I'll give you an update video of course. And if you're new consider subscribing to the channel if you like the video hit that thumbs up button it would really help me out a lot and if you have any questions or concerns or anything like that drop a comment below so thanks again guys for watching peace